Love y'all. Good afternoon. I just finished up with the majority of my workout. Um, today's day four of the one punch pound workout. Yesterday I took a rest because uh, my body was just hurting so much. Um, but I will say my mile time's reduced in a matter of three days, so that's cool. Um, like on average, it reduced. So I think these mile times are better than my first day, so that's cool. Um, but it's only the fourth day, so I can't really say anything too much. So let's see, I am uh, noticing the aches in my body better uh, so I know how to adjust like I noticed that I lean more towards my left side uh, so my left glute hurts a lot more uh, especially on the turns on the track uh, so I I need to realize that I need to use my right leg more and propel off of my calf use my calves a little bit more lift my legs higher um, yeah so um, so that I can have longer strides and that way I'm not like pressuring my left leg uh, so much so yeah, and that way I can prevent injury. So, yeah, we'll see. Uh, yeah, my form is definitely getting better though. So I'm more, uh, I'm noticing my body better now, which is nice. So I know how to adjust. All right, I'm gonna go run my last mile in the quarter home and call it a day. Cool, I'll talk to you guys later, peace. Cool, just finished up my workout. Uh, here's the first body check. Um, I'll put a little thing here a little video clip of my splits for like mile times and my uh, circuit breaks and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel really like acidic or some shit. Like my burps don't feel gassy, they just feel like this thing. Um, but yeah, so this is the first angle. Uh, I will say my body feels like a lot better. Like I don't feel ridiculously sore, my body doesn't hurt that much. Um, my knees don't hurt, which is good. Um, yeah, I noticed like while I was running the things that were hurting and I tried to adjust my body so I wouldn't keep pounding on those muscles. And I think it worked out because like, yeah, my glutes don't hurt, my knees don't hurt, my quads don't hurt, um, my shins are not hurting either. So I feel pretty good. And on top of that, I've reduced my, my times. Like for example, my, my mile run home, my mile and a quarter uh, run home, Usually it takes me about 15 minutes, uh, at least, to get home. Um, and this time I did it in 13, uh, which is solid. So, yeah. Um, so that's really dope. Um, and then, uh, in general, I would say uh, my average mile time was about 11 minutes, I would say. Uh, my fastest mile time was 9, like 9.30. Um, so that's dope, because that's like the lowest I think my mile has ever been, 9.30. Um, and that was my first mile, so of course it's the first mile. Um, but I think like my first miles before were about like 10, 11 minutes. So I dropped that down to 9.30 and then I was able to keep a consistent 11 minute pace for all four miles uh, throughout, which isn't like impressive, but it's good for me. Cause I know at least on the first two days, I, uh, I would like start slowly decreasing my times. So it would go from like 11 minutes to like 12 minutes, 12 minutes and then 13 minutes. Uh, so that was like, you know, it would have a slow decrease. But this time I was able to keep it a consistent 11 minutes, which is dope. So um, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. And also in between each mile, this time I did 100 push-ups, 100 B-ups, and then 100 squats. So yeah, so that's about it. So cool, I'll take you guys to the second angle. Peace. Second angle, here you go. Um, yeah, so, whew, uh, today I did it earlier, usually, than I usually do. Um, that's because, like, I kind of wait till I feel ready for it to run. But this today, like, when I woke up, I felt like running, so it's good. Um, so that's good in terms of my mentality. I feel like my mentality is getting a little bit better. Um, I find it mentally easier to do the miles now, which is good. Um, so, cause I know towards like the third or fourth mile, no, the fourth or fifth mile, I would start to kind of break a little bit uh, mentally. And then it would be more like on the last mile home, it would be like sort of a relief and I relax a little bit more. But this time I felt like consistently like, oh, okay, this isn't too bad um, the whole time, which is nice. Uh, so yeah. Um, yeah, all right. I'll take you guys to the third angle now. So, dope. All right, this third angle, dope. 
nothing impressive. Uh, like, yeah. Uh, you still see a lot of fat here on the sides uh, and the front, a lot of fat. Um, but I am eating generally healthier, which is good, which is why I haven't like gotten a lot of fat. Um, but yeah, I feel like I want to eat like even more healthy. I'm trying to pick up my protein intake. Uh, I'm, I've been doing a lot of carbs, but not like terrible carbs and not bad fats also usually. So yeah, um, but I want to increase my protein intake. I know it's been very like minimalistic uh, just because of like trying to be more reserved on money, but yeah. So um, yeah, I think I want to be better about taking in protein so that I can develop my muscles more. So um, yeah. And then probably like reduce a little bit of the carb intake. Uh, I am eating more properly, like eating three meals a day, because before I would eat one or two meals a day. Um, before, that's like last week. Like ever since uh, I started working out again, I've been eating three meals a day or four, which is good, but they're not like bad meals, like, like a turkey and a Swiss cheese sandwich, like eggs, uh, turkey bacon, oatmeal. Uh, and then for dinner, like usually pasta and chicken or something like that. And then uh, a light snack for a fourth meal, um, which is kind of like my cheat snack a little bit. But yeah, um, like you, like I've been having like 96% uh, less fat popcorn. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. Um, so it's like not really buttery. Uh, but yeah, all right, cool. Um, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a shower and then me and Jay are gonna go, go grab lunch, so cool. Peace out. What up, y'all? How's it going? How's it going? Um, yeah. So, I... <sighs> finished up my day. Um, yeah. Uh, me and JV basically watched a lot of MasterChef today, for the most part. Um, yeah, almost finished up with MasterChef Season 10. <sighs> I No spoilers, please. Haven't finished yet. Um, but, man... I uh, saw two of my favorite people leave, uh, Micah and Suba, so sad about that, but still, uh, we're in the finale episode, and Dorian is still in there for the running, who is uh, one of my favorites also, so we'll see, see who wins, I'm excited. Um, yeah, it's basically uh, what we did for a majority of the day, uh, We at, like after we got lunch, we literally just watched MasterChef the whole day, and then until some of our friends from college hit us up to play some Warzone. Yeah. Uh, I also did like the rosary thing again with my family. But yeah, played Warzone pretty much the rest of the day. Uh, got a lot of like top 10 placements, um, but no win. But it is what it is. Um, yeah. So that's it. Uh, one of the people in my D&D group sent me his backstory already. Really excited. He um, like really went into it with the details so uh i already have like a little like map way of like what's gonna happen and uh i'm excited i'm excited to see uh everybody else's stories so yeah and get this thing started so yeah um cool uh me and jv are gonna go hiking in the morning so i'm like super super tired uh yeah with uh the homie christine so yeah so we're gonna do that cool all right, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Love you guys, and good night. Peace. Feening. Yeah, yeah. What, 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 what? What you feening for lunch? What you feening for lunch? What do you want? Uh-huh. What? What do you want? I don't know. What, what? Uh. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh, now you're going to be shy. Come oh, on. Man.